Today, we are going to work with our core muscles. When we can create a strong foundation with our core muscles, it allows us a freer performance. Strengthening our core muscles helps us use the sorts of proper tension that we need when we're playing, instead of sometimes holding that tension in our neck, our shoulders, our pectorals, and our shoulder blades. So, let's start with the exercise ball. There's a lot of really great exercises that we can do with an exercise ball to strengthen our core. The first one we're going to do is sit on the floor with the exercise ball in our hands. And you're actually going to lay down and bring that ball above your head while you're laying down. Then we're going to sit up and pass it to our feet and come back to a laying down position. And again, come up and pass back to our hands and lay down. So let's do this. The next exercise requires a lot of balance and control. And in order to do that, we need to really engage our core muscles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll out on the exercise ball on our belly and bring the ball to our feet so that we're in a push-up position. Then, keeping our arms straight, we're going to tuck the ball in towards our chest and our bellies by bending our knees and bringing it in towards our body and then we will extend back out. Repeat and try to do about 10 of these. Other exercises include the plank. Now we can do this two different ways. You can use the exercise ball for this, or you can just use the floor, whichever one makes you feel more comfortable. I find that the exercise ball makes me engage more of my core because I have to balance my upper body more than I do on the floor, but I'll show you each of these. When you get in this position, try to hold it for about 30 seconds. There are other core exercises that we can do while we play. We can actually squat against the wall and then continue to play. And the squat position helps engage our core muscles as we play, allowing us to release tension in our upper body and play more freely. Another exercise that we can do with our instruments is sit on the floor and then bring your legs up so that you're kind of in a V position and play while balancing on the floor with your legs in the air. This balance position really, really engages your core muscles. Be sure to, that your back stays straight during this process as you play. You might feel some shakiness within your abdominal area, but don't worry, that's just your abdominals growing stronger. The last exercise that we can do while we play is, it's like a yoga tree pose. So as we play, we can start to balance on one leg. And what that does is it really engages our abdominal muscles to create a balance so that we don't fall over. Be sure to actually repeat this on both sides though so that we don't overdevelop one side over the other. Enjoy these exercises and I hope that they help you develop your core muscles to free your playing.